Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So my name is Shay Sharice, if you're new. And today's video is gonna be a thrift video. I'm so excited because this is my favorite thing to do. And you guys always ask me where I get everything from. Most of my stuff is like thrifted. And I have a haul for you guys. And I have a mini how to thrift also thrown in one. your style Grips on your waist. all right guys so my first tip when thrifting is location 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 this is everything when you're thrifting you tend to want to go to neighborhoods that are a little bit upscale and maybe in the city because those tend to have the best items they tend to throw or discard their clothing in those kinds of neighborhoods and they're typically better brands and my second tip when thrifting is to leave yourself some time i wouldn't go thrifting you know looking for a particular item just give yourself maybe a couple of hours to just lounge around chill feel a vibe don't go in there looking for it because most likely you won't find it when you're thrifting you want to find treasures you want to find gems so i recommend you go in there um, with a little bit of time on your hands and definitely map out your path and what I mean by map out your path is for me I like to hit the decor section first and then I like to hit the shoes and you know I have a plan when I get into any Goodwill or any thrift store because I find that a little bit better um, the first couple times I went thrifting I actually you know walked around it took maybe four hours just browsing the racks because a lot of the times some of the items most of the items that you see when you go thrifting time to time they pretty much generally stay the same so i've been to my goodwill that i um, go to maybe at least 40 times and most of the clothing items stay the same with the exception of the racks that they bring in every day hit the um, decor section first and then I'll go to the shoes and then I'll go to the jackets and then I'll go to the tops and then I'll browse through the men's section so basically that's what I like to do and sometimes I'll pick up items that I wouldn't normally like and I try them on because when you're thrifting it's the perfect time to experiment. I love to experiment with different styles here because I know if I really love something, I can actually afford it. Otherwise, you know, in other stores, I wouldn't be able to buy exactly what I want. So this is a perfect way to start a wardrobe and to start a new style that maybe you're afraid to try because it's too expensive. So um, another tip I would give you guys again is to go through the new racks. Around every 30 minutes they do call out that they have new racks available so I would definitely check those out first because those are going to be the new ones and like I said 90% of the stuff in the thrift store is not new so definitely rummage through those racks. And while you're looking I definitely recommend with some of the clothing that you do see Think of different ways that you can DIY them. Think of different ways that you can make them your own because when you're thrifting, you can definitely make your style your own instead of going to, you know, a regular store and all the items look the same. Everybody's rocking it the same. So I would definitely say this is the perfect time to think out of the box. So think of different DIYs you can do for each item. That's what I do. <laughs> Guys, so I'm in the fitting room. I have a tip for you guys. Whenever you go thrifting, I recommend you wear something you can slip on and off really easily. Before I decided to wear something I can just take off really quickly, along with some sweats and some shoes. Alright guys, I would like to add a major tip. Don't forget to wash and dry clean all of your clothing items and when it comes to furniture, make sure you spray it down with insecticide and just do your due diligence with keeping your items clean. Alright you guys, I had a successful day of thrifting. Yeah, so I got some cute stuff for a really good price and I also have a lot of other things to show you guys that I got a long time ago. And I don't know if I 
by showing you guys what I got today and a little bit of things that I picked up from months ago like a long long time ago like most of my wardrobe is from the thrift first item is this Banana Republic vest it's so cute it's pinstriped if you guys can see Right. it's tailored to fit so nicely it's a size 4 and originally it was like $98 it's like on the tag <laughs> and I paid maybe $5.99 for this deciding how I want to wear it I have another pair of trousers that I picked up from um, Goodwill also that might pair well with this and I might do a full look that way but I'm not sure so stay tuned to see how I style this so this one is actually one of my favorites it's really long so you guys can tell it's a long line um, blazer and this is from Ann Taylor it's such nice material and you guys know how much Ann Taylor usually runs for and this is a size 4 it's a little bit close but it looks pretty good on and I would style this with if I'm going out just on a casual tip, I would wear this with like some straight leg jeans, probably dark wash, and maybe like a cami or something like that. I think that would be really, really Okay, so the next thing I picked up is another blazer. And this one is from Benetton. And if you guys know anything about Benetton, it's really expensive in there. This one is so nice. I love the stripes. You guys can kind of see. There's a theme today, I guess. I love the details on it. Really nice. And it fits really nicely also. So yeah. And I would style this with jeans also, or maybe some khaki pants or olive green pants and some like single soled heels. I think that would be actually really cute. Okay, this one you guys can't see that well, but it's a really, really, really long coat. And it's in black and it's by John White's. It's made in Poland. I don't know this designer, but it's a size 12 and it fits amazing, it's good material. It'll last me basically forever, that's how good it is. I just love picking up nice um, staple pieces like this from the thrift store because, I don't know, they're made of good quality and stuff and they'll definitely last you a really long time. So, yeah. I also got these pants because Obviously, these are playing right now. I love them so much. These are actually military um, cargos. And these are a little bit shorter, so they're cropped. And I love these so much and how I would style both of these I would wear them with um, either a crop top or a plain tank or something like that with some heels and probably a blazer or a jacket so next thing that I got and this is something that I've had for a while this is this Levi's jacket but I did um, distress this myself and I did crop it myself I like the oversized look, but I definitely wanted it to be cropped. It was originally, you know, pretty long, and this was in the men's section. I think this was about $6.99 at Goodwill, so it's a pretty good deal, and obviously, it's authentic. It's really good material, and these run, I don't know, I think they run about $50 to $70. Don't quote me, but I'm pretty sure Levi's is pretty expensive, so good deal. A white denim jacket and I also decided to crop this this one I got recently it's so cute the distressing on it I think it adds something different to an otherwise plain piece so yeah this is really cute and this is from champs and I don't know true American brand there it's in a size extra large and I'm
All right, guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. And yeah, if you guys want to see another haul or a lookbook, just let me know. Leave me a comment. And yeah, I'll see you again. Bye.